So I'm going to be doing a Chanel look today. It's going to be very light using very light colours with lots of sparkle so it becomes very ethereal and very childlike and extremely pretty. Hydra Beauty Cream on Ellie's skin because I find it incredibly um, rich, will give that dewy effect very quickly. I'm using Vita Lumia Foundation because again I really enjoy its texture. I like the way it goes on the skin, I think it's light coverage, it'll, it'll cover just enough to give an even skin tone without hiding the real skin. I test the colour here. And if it disappears into the skin here on the neck, it will disappear onto the face. So this is a very good place to test the colour of your foundation. So a bit of concealer under the eyes to lift the eye area. As you will notice, I didn't put any foundation on her lid. I wanted her lid to stay completely clear of product because it's going to be so light, the makeup, that I'm frightened that anything I put on, any foundation I put on, will drag the colour of the products I'm using. So I left the lids completely clear. I'm going to start by using just a very beautiful palette by Chanel. I always like to start with a little bit of a pale colour under the brow here, just to lift the brow bone. That's always a good start. So moving on to this very beautiful shimmery beige colour here. I'm using that on the entire lid. I'm now going to start adding the sort of the luminosity and the, the shimmer that we're really looking for and, and the sort of aspect that will give it a different look. The ethereal, sort of beautiful, shimmery, ethereal look. It's a thick pencil, so I can actually use it to shape the eye and really give that sort of lift that I want through here. There you go. Now I'm going to blend it in with my fingers. Actually, I'm going to take the same pencil and use it underneath the eye. This will really give sort of sparkle and light to the eye. So I'm going to take it underneath. Take it all the way along the lower lid. So I'm now going to take a Q-tip and blend that. So the whole eye, as you can see, becomes very, very shimmery and youthful. And it almost looks like she's been sort of... As if she's been crying in a really dreamy way. There's sort of there's something very soft and sweet about it. So black mascara. There's no black line in the roots of the lashes already. So we really have to make sure the mascara is doing that job, getting right into the roots. Look at me. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? It's so pretty. Okay, look that way and down, Ellie. I'm going to put a second coat of mascara on now. Getting to the roots of the lashes still. Really working onto the inside corner. Now I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes. Again, holding the brush vertically, particularly on the outside corner. These are Chanel products that I simply adore. They are called Illusion d'Ombre. I'm going to put a little bit of this gold colour along the lid as well. Again, for more um, shine and sparkle and sweetness. So as you can see, we're really building up these wonderful, beautiful, reflective colours. Okay, so now you can see this wonderful gold eye with just the black mascara, which is so pretty on Ellie. And I'm going to use um, one of the new cream blushes in a very neutral shade. Half as contour and half as blush, but it's going to make her look very fresh and almost summery. And blending down, sweeping up. So it's on and underneath the cheekbones, sweep. From the new Autumn Winter Collection, a product called Secret, which is a Rouge Coco Shine by Chanel. And it really will just give like a little bit of a gloss. That's all I want. I don't want her lips to look painted 
at all, okay? I'm going to put powder on the T-zone to get rid of any excess shine, okay? You know, what some people call a foundation brush, I'm using this because I think it's perfect for powder, but it's one of the best brushes you can have in your kit. Something that is small, it can go into the corners, the crevices of the face, like, for example, around the nose here. Do you see? It absolutely goes into the crevice. So this is the finished look. So what it is, is a great alternative to the classic winter look of a dark mouth and a dark eye. You know, this is great. Yeah, enjoy is a great alternative, especially, you know, particularly with blonde hair, I have to say.